Hidden beneath the undergrowth lie vast empires, ant colonies. Immense underground metropolises form the home and epicenter of activity for each colony. The size of each colony depends on both the species and environmental conditions. Colonies can range from a few dozen ants living in a twig to a multi-million strong super colony that completely dominates their territory. But even the largest empires start out small. The dawn of a new empire begins with the birth of a young queen. She is born in the mature colony of her mother, whose eggs have already produced the countless workers that built her kingdom. Our young queen is much larger than her worker sisters, but there is an even more striking difference. She has wings. When the young queen perceives that the time is right, she crawls out from her mother's nest to go on her first and only flight, together with thousands of other young queens who are ready to start their new empire. But it is not only the young queens who take flight. Thousands of winged male ants are getting ready to take off as well. By sensing that the temperature, humidity, and day length have aligned perfectly, young queens and males from every colony in an entire region emerge simultaneously to take part in this ritual, the nuptial flight. For a short time, the skies are filled with thousands of ants, which has given rise to the informal term, Flying Ant Day. During the nuptial flight, the queens mate with several males. This is the only time that they will mate, requiring them to store the received sperm for the rest of their life, in some cases, well over 20 years. During this time, each queen will give birth to millions of offspring. Out of the thousands of queens setting out on their nuptial flight, only a few will survive to start their own empires. Many fall prey to a host of different predators, at times even to other ants. The males have achieved their purpose once they mated and die shortly after. For the queens, however, this is only the start. They are now on the lookout for a suitable place to land and found their new empire. Having completed their one and only flight in their life, their first action is to rip out their wings. They won't need them anymore. The queens use the remaining wing muscles as a source of food. This greatly increases the chances of survival for the new colony. Because for most ant species, the queen will not eat any food until the first generation of her worker offspring will be ready to go out and gather food. Our queen has hidden herself away. Buried under a rock on the forest floor, she is safe from most predators. She will remain in her hiding place to nurture her first generation of eggs 
until they become mature workers, who will in turn then help her with the building of a new hidden empire. Subscribe to our channel to hear more about the rise and fall of these hidden empires, their struggles, their triumphs, and their amazing strategies in their continuous fight for survival and dominance.